Mike with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Bazooka L by Swag Bags. Now, I reviewed the regular Bazooka a while ago and I'll put a link to that. It should be kind of up over there in that corner as well as I'll put a link down to the description. If you want to pause this and go watch that, you can or go watch this after this review if you haven't yet because I'm not going to do a full in-depth breakdown like I normally do about the materials and all that stuff. I'll, I'll do a quick rundown of the materials, but this is the same materials, very similar to that regular Bazooka. I'm just going to highlight the differences between the L and the regular to help you decide if maybe the L is better for you over the regular or vice versa. So let's go ahead and talk about the L. Real quick on materials. Slow side is the same slow side you find on the Chaos. It's the same, it's that it's that Viper R slow side material. It's a hybrid material, about a five and a half speed, between a five and a six. Fast side, fast side is the is the same fast side that you find on the Gnarly 11, the BG Sorcerer. There, uh, there are a few other bags that use it. it. It's, it's a, it's a, to me, it's a faster fast side. I call it about a nine and a half speed. It plays a little faster than say that, that Viper Pro Sniper fast side material. So five and a half, nine and a half speeds this bag. Medium template. It, it's got, it's got, it's almost on the thinner side. So the reason it's an L, the L is quote unquote lighter bag. I think of the L more as looseness because the, the difference in weight is there's a difference in weight if you put them on a scale. If you hold them in your hand. You don't really feel the weight difference. To me, if I picked this up and it didn't say L and I picked a regular bazooka up, I'm probably not going to tell that there's a difference. If you mixed them in, I wouldn't have any idea. What I would notice, though, is when I go to throw it, is when you grab it and you feel it, this bag has just got a looser feeling. Difference. It's going to be less fill in the L versus the regular. So it's on the thinner side of fill. And, and the L also has more beads in it. So if I remember correctly, the regular bazooka was a mixed fill, but I think it was all flat. I don't think there's any round beads. There's all a flat fill in that bag. The L actually has some round beads mixed in. I don't really know the, the ratio of the mixture, if that really matters. This is a mix with some flat, some different flats, as well as some round beads mixed in here. But again, less fill gives it a looser feeling. The looseness gives the bag more forgiveness. More forgiving on a landing, more forgiving around the hole. So, and, and someone asked me when I, when I reviewed the Chaos L, if you saw that, if you're familiar with the Chaos Chaos L, this Bazooka L is to the Bazooka as the Chaos L is to the Chaos. That makes sense. That's kind of the difference is the, the, the L versions are about the same, just as much as the regular versions are, right? If that, if that makes sense. When I reviewed that Chaos L and I made a comment that I felt like the regular Chaos was easier for the cuts, rolls, and flops, someone made a comment they felt that they thought, well, they thought round fill would have made the bag more, make the bag easier for the shot shaping than flat fill. And technically, yes. To me, round fill, the round beads give the bag more action, more movement, typically easier. However, a looser bag is harder for that shot shape. So I think the, the looseness of the bag kind of balances out that round fill. And I feel like, to me, and this is just my perspective and the way I throw, you may have different results because your throw may be different. And I'm not a big rollback throw. I don't, I really don't throw rolls. I prefer to throw cuts. And when you're throwing cuts, I find that a fuller bag is definitely easier to cut more than a looser bag. And the fullness of the bag has a bigger part to play than the fill. If you have two bags of the same fullness and one has round fill and one doesn't, then I find the round fill makes a difference. But if you have two bags, that one's full and one's loose, and the loose one has round fill, the full one has flat fill, I still find that fuller bag easier for cuts, rolls, and flops. I hope that makes sense. So, And the reason I say that is because when you throw your bag, you know, you go to throw a roll, you're, you're backloading the bag. When that bag comes in, normally, you know, it comes in, it lands, it kind of slaps down and pops up as it rotates and gives that bag that roll action. A cut, you know, you throw your cut as the bag's rotating, it lands, it causes that bag to grip and grab, and momentum pushes the bag because it has that tilt on it. The momentum pushes the bag to cut across the board. When you get a loose bag, the loose bag, what happens is when it hits, like you throw your roll action, the bag comes and it hits. Instead of slapping down, it just kind of collapses and falls down. It takes it takes away the momentum that it has to slap down and pop up. So that bag doesn't pop up as easy. So you have to get more of a back load. Same with the cut. When you're throwing your cut and that bag comes in, it doesn't grab and move. Because it's loose, it kind of collapses in and just barely cuts and flattens out. And so that looseness really counteracts the fill in there. And to me, I find not the easiest bag for cuts roll. You can still cut this bag, you can still roll, you can still flop. It's just not one that if you're if you're learning to do it, you've got to get more exaggerated on your tilts and your orientations to really get those cuts rolls flop. But what you do gain, as I mentioned, is that forgiveness. So if you don't throw a flat bag, the L is better for you than the regular because the L is more forgiving that landing. So if you have a bag that comes in with an angle and you're always dealing with a kick on it, you want an L version. L version is going to have less kick to it because it's more forgiving that landing. So it's going to land flat and run straighter or truer up the board for you. Also, because you have that extra flop to it, the L is looser, floppier, the bag does a better job of grabbing that corner. So if you're missing your landing zone, so if accuracy is your issue and you struggle with, you're, you're missing bags more less left to right, but you're right at the hole, but you, maybe your bags are kind of just barely skipping over, a looser bag is going to do a better job of that corner just, just taking a little bit, grabbing and pulling the bag in because it doesn't take much of this corner to go in and dip and grab the hole. A fuller bag, that corner is not going to dip in. You've got to get more of the bag in the hole to get that bag to go down. A looser bag, you don't need as much. 
So I find a looser bag. And, and, and again, these are minor changes, minor differences. But, you know, in, in the game of cornhole, you know, at the course of a game when you're throwing 80 to 100 bags, it may be one or two bags that grab and pull in on the loose bag that the full one wouldn't. Or maybe the full bag, it's one or two bags that you throw a cut to get around and actually get in the hole where you wouldn't hear. And that that can be a two to four points of difference, which in a game 21 can make a difference. So minor differences can make a difference. And and is, you know, if you if you throw in the bazooka and you like it, but you don't love it because maybe you want a looser bag, the L may be just enough difference that you love that bag. So so even though there are minor differences, I do think they make a difference and I do think it it does affect the performance of the bag. The other thing I mentioned too, same with the regular bazooka, is th they have a liner on both sides. They have a liner on the slow side, just like we do in the chaos, and then they have a liner on the fast side to protect this fast side material. So, and one of the one of the issues with this fast side material is it's very fragile. It has a tendency to stretch really bad at the corners. By putting a liner in here, it, it takes away that stretch. It makes the material more durable. It keeps the bag from really loosening up, stretching out a lot. It keeps it the shape better. But it does make the bag a little bit tougher to break in. So if you get a set of these, and I mentioned it in my bazooka review, if you get a set of these L's, give them time to break them in. Whatever, you, if you you know, you get them and you do your toss sauce treatment or your vinegar soak or whatever you, you do to break them in, do that. You still need to go out and throw them. Don't just do your treatment, go out and throw them a few times, go, you know, I don't like them and be done with them. They're gonna get better. Just give them time to break in and this, this material will soften up, that liner will soften up and the bag will get looser and play, be more forgiving, play like it's supposed to. So just give the bags time on these, more so than you would with the chaoses or some of the other bags. Like I, I feel like these bazookas just take a touch longer to break in, but once you break them in, they play extremely well. And I do think, I'm not a, typically not a big fan of this fast side material, but I do think on the L version, it works really well. And that's because one of the weaknesses of, of lighter bags is they're harder to push and collect because you, you've got less less weight, which is less momentum, less inertia. I don't, I think it's, I'm not sure, I'm not I'm not a physics manager, so, but it's less, whatever, when you're trying to push, so if you've got a, up at the hole, it doesn't matter. If you've got a level two, level three blocker, and you're trying to push through, and you come through, it takes more because the bag is lighter weight to push through and carry them all the way up. So I find this fast side being a touch faster really makes this bag easier for those longer pushes to push through and collect. I didn't have to throw harder. Whereas with the bag, when I reviewed the Wizard L's from BG, when I did those, I really did not like because that, that fast side was a touch slower. And I really noticed it was hard to push through and collect. I really struggled with it. I had to throw the bags harder and, and, and to actually push through and collect. And I didn't like, I don't like flipping over fast side and throwing hard. It just changes my throw. I like fast side, you know, throw the same as I do slow side and just using the, the speed of the fast side to be the difference. And, and I think you find that here, this bazooka. They're also really great at getting through bags, getting around bags. So if you play an opponent who throws dirty, dirty style bags, plays a dirty style game, and they got multiple bags up there and they've got, you know, bags side by side or whatever, this, these lighter bags, these looser bags do a better job of sneaking through those tight gaps and going through there and leaving your opponent's bag. So you really, you, you do better with that get around, sneak around style game with these L bags. And that's what I like. So really this is a great bag that if you don't have a cut roller flop in your arsenal, but you're looking for a way to play against opponents who throw blockers, but just all games, this is where the L bag comes in. It really does a great job when you, when you have a bag up there, you just want to aim for that corner. You can step out whichever side you're on, step out, aim for the corner of their bag. They don't catch and push and collect like fuller bag, but because they're lighter, they, they smash up and smash the back and spin around, almost bully that blocker away and go in. That's where an L bag really shines. Now, that being said, if you do happen to throw a blocker up there, you have to be more intentional when you go to collect to be more in the middle. These L bags, if you go corner to corner, they're not gonna collect. They're just gonna kind of spin and you're gonna bully your bag out of the way and take your put your push bag, gonna go take whole control or go in, but you're not gonna collect the bag you're trying to collect. You have to be more intentional and come more to the middle, middle to middle, you know, third to third, collect more of that bag so that it can't accord it up and it's forced to push through. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to, if you're trying to throw blockers with these L bags, you can't get quite as aggressive. You wanna keep them more in the middle lane, not quite as much on your opponent's side so that when you come through to collect, you can come down the middle and, and collect them both and not have to try to throw a crazy cut and try to grab it or whatever. But all in all, you know, again, if you like a looser, floppier bag, I think you're going to like the L version better. At least main availability, Swag Bags has a website, swagbagscornhole.com. These bags have not been released yet as of this recording, but they should be very soon. If not, maybe by the time I upload this, they will be released. But go to swagbagscornhole.com. There'll be, I think everything else will be released in the vendor of $89 for a set, $89.99 for a set, so $90 bucks for a set. It's $13 shipping, $103 for a set of these bags. I didn't mention these are, these bazookas are ACL Pro Stamps. So 103 bucks for ACL Pro Stamps right down the middle road. It's not unreasonable. High quality bags. I have no problem for that price on there. If you've thrown the bazooka L's, I'd love to hear your opinions, your thoughts, especially if you've thrown the regular bazookas. What do you, your, your, your comparison between the regulars and the L's, which one do you like better and why? I thank you guys so much for your support and I thank you for watching.